bombs you know, to do. That's why I think the uh, convention tour that we did was similar to what the current band is doing on the cruises where you know they're playing on plug or at these meet greets that they'll do and uh, someone can just throw out a song and next thing you know they break into it. You know? That's really great. Not many bands have the kind of catalog. I, I don't even know how many songs. They could be one of you guys I've had no, but there's probably 300 kiss songs, maybe more. I don't know. You know, it's it's really a crazy amount of if you think about how many years, even the Beatles, they were only had, you know, X amount of albums for those years. It wasn't 40 years of history. So a lot of songs to cover, so it's good to mix it up. Alright, who else? Yeah, over here. Alright, he's asking about the Revenge album, if I had any good stories about the recording, unknown. Well, I gotta tell you, like, one thing that comes to mind, and I can, t I can talk about Revenge for, for two hours and we don't have that kind of time. I've done clinics for Revenge, and what I mean by clinic, it's not where I, you know, kind of throw to see if you have, uh, you know, tonsils on. I mean, it's uh, more like musical related, but, but I actually have all these, I have a great playlist at home of all these, uh, rough versions with different things in it and I'm able to talk about each one of them. You know, Ezrin, uh, Bob Ezrin, who uh, I think is so talented, he entrusted me with the, 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 the DAT tape, I think it was called DAT, which was, a, you know, would be like kind of giving someone a CD now. Um, uh, or no, a stick, you know, with the files. But um, I, I know about every, how every song started and didn't almost have, didn't happen and everything. Well, but one thing I think a lot of people didn't know was we spent like a year over the course of that year, and I don't remember when it started and when it really ended recording-wise, but it took a year to do it, okay? Uh, it obviously started in 91, and you know, we were probably knee-deep in it, probably spring or summer, and of course Eric Carr, um, you know, we lost him in November, sadly. Um, but then we continued on and kept recording until the following year, and it was released probably in May. So, um, but I do know there were times when we recorded, and we had the drums, uh, and Eric Singer did a terrific job, but then we uh, start putting the basses down, let's say, or some rhythm guitars, and then realized we couldn't, the bass couldn't tune properly, you know, to the guitars, and we had to scrap them all and end them again. There was a lot of work done on that. 